Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, it's not we're doing Captain Morgan Cherry Vanilla Limited Edition Rum. It's Cherry Vanilla Spice Rum. That's a lot of words. Uh, so they come out with like seasonal... Um, Captain Morgan's been doing seasonal stuff every once in a while. They had, the, they had the Cannon Blast. Those weren't, those weren't really seasonal, though, were they? No, those they, were just like those specialty just, flavors. Those are the ones from five years ago. This yeah. is what they're doing now. So they yeah. also they did this one, and they also had an orange cream. So the orange cream was two years ago. This was last year, and this is this year. So Gotcha. They tend to do things in threes, but the I years before the orange that... orange cream one. The year before that, they did... Um, that's when they did the Cannon Blast, mm -hmm. the Coconut one, and the Apple one, which were good, too. Those were pretty good. Different than the apple one than this and one. And the cannon blast ones, those were wild. Yeah, the coconut one was surprisingly good. <laughs> it just had chunks of coconut in it. I didn't think it was going to be good. I, I really didn't think any of the cannon blasts would be good, though. I, don't, I remember the black one being the weakest one, like their main one. Yep, that is red colored. I know I didn't pay very much for this. I, I know I paid under 14 bucks for this bottle, which is cheap. Um... Feet well and fake cherries, yeah, and vanilla. Just so much vanilla. It doesn't smell like rum at all. No, not even. A it little smells kind of like schnapps. Uh, like, it does smell like schnapps, except I think it's a higher, higher. Yes, yeah, thirty percent. So it's higher than schnapps. Schnapps are like under twenty normally. Uh, it also is eighty-seven calories per shot, which is not awful. For the amount of sugar that's probably in this. See, here's my first problem with this. Uh -huh. Captain Morgan has a lot of their higher end stuff, you know, the $20, $25 alert, like private stock. Oh, yeah. Like that, that are really good, and you get that vanilla in your cherry now. It's more natural. This is just artificially adding vanilla in cherry. <laughs> so that's all this is doing. Well, this is way cheaper, though. Yeah, and I get, it, you get it's, that. And they're selling it for a shot. That's what this is. It's oh, supposed yeah. to be an easy shot. Or a mixer. I'm just saying, this is not for the people who enjoy rum. Regular rum. This is the flavored stuff. And it's it's very... The, the cherry flavor is very fake. Uh-huh. Does it... Does it taste to you a little bit like... This is, this is going to come out wrong. I can already tell. Does it taste to you a little bit like rubbing alcohol smells? Like that, that uh, like yeah. very, very sanitized feeling right cheap, at the end. Cheap booze. It's that cheap alcohol, like lighter fluid level alcohol, kind of. Though it doesn't come through like that. It's just very cherry and vanilla. Fake, fake cherry. The vanilla's fine. Rum flavor in there, a little bit on the back end. It's it's, it's a little bit sweet. Subtle. Uh, it, it mostly just tastes like flavorings. But not like in a good way. It tastes like flavorings in a... Um, in like dropper bottles, like you just dropped a drop of flavoring in your hand and then licked it. Very strong. Uh, me looking at this, to me, it looks like something that needs to be mixed. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I think it would probably make good Jello shots. It looks like something that would probably make a good Jello shot. Rum. I don't care what anybody says. Rum makes the best Jello shots. Way better than vodka. <laughs> We've learned from experience on the show. Vodka. Does not make good jello shots. Rum makes way better jello shots. Um, even if it's dark this, rum. Or... This would still be a really easy shot, though. I agree. Like, all those flavors really take away from the, the, like, that reaction you're going to have of just having, like, a straight alcoholic drink. Like, the alcohol doesn't bite too hard, and those flavors really soothe everything over. So if you want to shoot, this would be fine. You could totally do that. We're mixing with a little bit of Coke. Oh, natural. Rum and Coke. Also, Even. cherry Coke. Right. Cherry vanilla Coke. All right. So, uh, I'm going to give it a number straight. It's not bad. I expected exactly what I got out of it. Uh, I'm going to go five and a half. Uh, it's slightly above average for what it is. I, I mean, I'm going to give it Ever about so a five. Ever so slightly, yeah. I, I think it's... It, it's fine. It's fine straight. You could totally drink this. Yeah. Nothing special, though. Uh, that smells, smells like straight cherry coke. That smells way better. It smells a thousand times better. Oh, yes. That absolutely saves it. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a substantial improvement. Like, very substantial. Like, like two points for me substantial. Like, seven. That's a seven. It goes from being average to good. Mm. You As can't taste any alcohol yeah. in that. I think that's why they put so much flavoring in it. It's meant to be mixed with stuff like Coke. Because that's far better. And I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a seven and a half. Uh, the only downside is you have to mix it yourself, but that's really, really good. That could cause problems. Mate, can you imagine going to the uh, uh, Circle K and getting you a 79 cent Polar Pop and of Coke and just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could mix this... Fountain with some Fountain Coke? That'd be good. You could mix this, like, pretty aggressively, too. You find one of those freestyle machines, be like, <laughs> make some kind of weird concoction, be good. Uh, That's yeah, surprisingly good. It's, I, it's, I, I, I was a little bit uncomfortable with how good that is. Mixer all the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, as a shooter, if it was chilled, it would be an easy shot. It would be, it would be a great shot, but it would be an easy shot. Yeah. With the Coke, is it? I could sip on that all night, and it would be delicious. I could see even that working. You could probably give that to me and tell me it's not alcoholic and I'd believe you. Yeah. Like if it's just a regular cherry yeah. coke or something. I mean, it's, it's got something extra in it. It's got something else in it. It's got some. But, uh... Yeah, that, that could cause problems for me. For sure. It might, because we have a whole bottle of it and a whole case of coke. Uh, we do have a lot of sodas now. For the show. People That's could, true, yeah. Because people could keep complaining. And I didn't buy them because people keep complaining. I bought them because my daughter had a birthday party. And I have leftover sodas. So, everybody thinks I'm going to go out of I mean, why not? Right. Uh, yeah, that's what you buy that for. If you want to mix your drinks, that's it. If you want to drink something directly out of the bottle, maybe something else. Do you recommend it? Yes, I do. You got to know what it's for, but I do. If you can get it under 15 bucks, sure. Uh, if you're expecting a regular spiced rum or regular Captain Morgan, it's not. It's not <laughs> it tastes like something trying to be real rum. That's what it mm. tastes like. Um, but it's fine for certain uh, certain applications. Agreed. All right. Well, that has been our episode. If there's something you would like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to support the channel by hitting that thanks button right there or the like button. Or if you're poor like us, you can just watch our videos. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.